We've got three cylinders here as we're going along. Let's have a look at this one first. So this is our cold feed coming in. So this is coming from the feed system. Now the water inside the cylinder is cold and what it's doing is it's filling the heating system through the primary return because it can't get through the flow yet because it fills through this special bubble. What happens is there's two bubbles here. There's one at the top here and one at the bottom here. So while it's cold, the water comes in, goes up there through the gap. The gap's normally at the top there and flows over the top and then down into the heating system and completely fills the radiators. So when you're initially filling and draining these cylinders, you should always have the hot tap open because the furthest away hot tap downstairs will get rid of all the air through the top here. Now then, we're fully filling the system up now in the next one. So you can see the actual uh, primatic and the air bubble is in the top now. And the system is completely full. The cylinder's full with cold water. The central heating's filled through the return and the flow. You've bled all the radiators. Oh, everything's full. Happy days. But the cylinder is cold. So this water in there is the same water in there. Now when we come to the last one, what's happened now is the water's coming through the flow pipe and it's hot. And this is made of copper, this um, heat exchanger in the middle. Uh, instead of a primary coil, but we'll call it a heat exchanger. And what happens is it forces the air from the top of the bubble to down to the bottom. So you've now, instead of on this one, you've got one air bubble. In this one, you've got two. So what that does now is it separates the central heating system from the cylinder. So the waters won't mix once this bubble's been made. So if you lose this bubble, what you've got to do is drain the cylinder and fill it back up again. Now what a lot of old plumbers used to do, so old guys like my old fella, if they had any problems with the primary flow and return, they used to take the thermostat out of the boiler and boil the water up. So it would force the water around the gravity sucks. You cannot do that with a primatic cylinder. If you try and boil a primatic cylinder, you will break the bubble, it will be useless. Just actually draining this system down can ruin the bubble. You're always running that gauntlet for a 30, 40 year old cylinder that once you've drained it down to do any repairs or any alterations, you're running the risk of damaging the bubble inside the cylinder. Once it's damaged, it's a new cylinder.